Welcome back, this is RB. If you like this video at any point, hit the like button. It's the only way we'll grow. And follow me on another platform because I can get kicked off this one any day now. Let's get it. You know what's funny? I think if I had met you 10 years ago, I probably would try to fight you on some of your views. Now after I've had a couple of kids and I'm middle-aged as fuck, I'm like, dude, I don't want to run the world. I'm just tired. <laughs> like, let the boys do it. Seriously, like, being in second place, it's kind of great. And this is how many women feel now and how many women will feel when they get, you know, mid 40s. Being a strong, independent woman is cute from 18 to 35. After that, women just get fed up with it. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. Can a man just come and take care of me? I'll cook clean, rub his back like I'm getting tired of this. No, don't let any of those things go. As a man, when you get into a relationship, it's not about making your life all about her now that you guys moved in or got married. That's what make women lose respect for guys. I mean, you might not be able to do it to the same extent, but don't just stop doing what you love. You can still fit that stuff in unless you just, you know, evolved and you don't want to do it no more. Fine. But don't stop doing it because she made you stop doing it or she's pressuring you to stop doing it. Isn't that ironic? They'll pressure you to stop doing something because it doesn't make them happy and it'll make them happy if you stop doing it, but then lose respect for you when you stop doing it because you didn't hold your ground. Isn't that funny? bottom teeth were a little messed up and we get there and he smiled and I was like nope I can't do it I'm sorry I can't do it I was nice I stayed for the remainder of the date but he could tell I wasn't the most shallow superficial people in the world she got about another 10 years of her looking young and cute I mean she'll probably still look pretty good even you know 30s and 40s but the thing is, she'll be cute for 30 or 40. It won't just be, oh, she's cute anymore. She's cute for 30 or 40. This is what I want to get across to a lot of guys. First off, she did that guy a favor with the messed up teeth. I'm sure he was a decent guy. Okay, let's look at it like this. She's an attractive female. So in order for her to even give this guy a date, he had to check off some boxes. It seems like she's saying, you know, everything else was clicking, but when I seen his teeth, I couldn't do it. This woman was going to be a burden on that man's life long term. Like, let's really look at it for what it is. This woman needs that man more than that man needs her. He just wanted to get with her because she was cute. It's not like she was going to bring real value to his life. You could tell that she's shallow, superficial. She's really into herself. Those type of women don't make good wives. And honestly, they probably wouldn't make good mothers. Do you really think this woman would have made that man's life better long term? Of course not. So don't feel bad for the guy she did him a favor a beautiful woman will need an ugly man in the long term before an ugly man would ever need keyword need a beautiful woman just always keep that in mind in the grand scheme of life a drop dead gorgeous woman will need a four full 11 balding fat guy who lives with his mom in the long term in the grand scheme of life before that guy would ever need a gorgeous woman like if crap hit the fan and a war started or something, or, you know, we actually had to go to survival mode, living in the woods or something like some type of catastrophe happened and we really had to get out there and survive. Who really needs who? Do you go on a date with this guy and you see his lower teeth and they're crooked. So yep. in your head, you're out. That's it for you. You're out. Yep, I'm out. You're not just a so, teeth person, though. You're an everything person. You want the teeth. You want the I'm status. An, you want the everything. good looks. Yeah. He's probably the balance. Are you everything, though? No, you're just cute, I bet. I mean, I can tell you're shallow and superficial. 
But do you cook? Do you clean? And even if you do cook and clean and rub a guy's back, if he's working hard and taking care of you and, you know, being that strong, logical mind when you're emotional, protecting, providing, all that, bringing structure to your life, you cooking and cleaning don't add up to all that stuff he's bringing. So, okay, let's say you do meet a guy who's everything and he comes with everything. Why would he want you? Just because you're pretty? Do you know how many pretty girls there are in the world? Just because you cook? You know how many women can cook in the world? Women think just because they're pretty, they deserve Superman. No, Superman would be settling for you. You don't deserve Superman, even if he did exist. The entitlement is crazy.